EdTech traditionally is any technology that supports or enhances any part of the education system or learning. But over the past couple of years, really, the term EdTech has been used to represent those disruptive forces to education. Navitas Ventures has just recently launched its global EdTech landscape, representing 5,000 EdTech companies around the world and $40 billion worth of investment. And it's been fascinating to see the clusters of innovation and investment across the whole sector. We're seeing still a lot of activity in alternative credentialing models. The move towards personalised learning through gamification, AR, VR, etc. Over the last couple of years, there's been a convergence of ed tech and talent tech, lots of activity in the learning to workspace, and alternative models such as boot camps, MOOC 2.0, Learn Now, Pay Later models. Australia generally punches above its weight in education and we've been trying to solve the problem of distance learning for 50 plus years. We have a very strong and established education industry, so we have uh, the talent, the expertise and the knowledge. We also have a very strong and fast-growing startup technology industry across the countries. We're strategically located right next to Asia and uh, a number of large and strong markets that are right next door to us. I think that Australian edtech companies are particularly strong as a result of the cultural diversity that Australia has. We have many different spoken languages within any given classroom and the strength of the edtech product has to rise to that level. Because of Australia's geography, we have very strong history in distance education and that's translated into online education. And so we have 1,100 firms who are currently offering courses online. So it's not surprising, given our expertise in ICT, that we've been able to develop very vibrant edtech companies. The potential for EdTech for Australia is enormous. Currently we have half a million international students in Australia, but the Deloitte Access Economics report projects that there's going to be a billion students internationally by 2025. And if the Australian education sector is going to connect with those students, it's imperative that we engage in EdTech. The key characteristics of the Australian EdTech sector are that there's about 350 companies across the country and the majority of those companies, about 65 to 70 percent of them are focused on the K-12 market with the remainder focused on the tertiary sector, early childhood, vocational sector as well. Austrade is fiercely ambitious on behalf of EdTech companies in Australia. We've helped to pull the industry together through the formation of Edgy Growth, which is an accelerator but also a peak body for those involved in EdTech. Edgy Growth is Australia's peak EdTech body. We are here to drive innovation for EdTech companies within Australia. Edgy Growth's international network is a unique one. From day one in our full time accelerator program, we have pushed our startups to be internationally focused. We recently went to the ASU GSV conference, which is the largest EdTech conference in the US. Within Australia International Education 2025, we have the ambition of having more than a million students in Australia by that time. But we also have, as part of that roadmap, that we want to be able to touch more than 100 million students around the globe. So Australia is absolutely focused on delivering quality education, but enhanced by EdTech solutions.